Hey guys, welcome back. Kelly here with 1776 Firearms. Uh, uh, gonna be doing a review on a couple of revolvers today. Uh, we're gonna use Vandalia Range and Armory again, uh, just because I had some trees fall out in the woods by the range, so I got some cleanup to do. Today, I'm gonna be shooting a Ruger Red Hawk 44 Magnum, seven and a half inch barrel, double action. Uh, this even actually has a spot where you can mount, mount, mount where you can mount a uh, scope if you want to put a scope on it, if you're going to take it out hunting. Um, no experience with this uh, revolver whatsoever. I do know that it is pretty and I am looking forward to shooting it. it is a Ruger uh, 44 Magnum uh, new model Super Blackhawk. Uh, this is a single action 44 Magnum, seven and a half inch barrel. So, they're shooting the exact same round, exact same size, just one single action, the other one's double action. Uh, yeah, that's about it. They both feel the same grip wise, um, but I'm sure they're gonna handle a little bit differently when I get to the range. I do have a little bit of experience with the Blackhawk uh, like a decade ago, but I really don't remember much about it. Um, so we'll see what happens. Uh, I'll go to the range and come back and we'll, we'll tell you what we think of them. Again, these videos strictly informational, not trying to sell you anything. Uh, they're just available, so we're, we're shooting them and we're giving you our honest opinion of what we think of them. Uh, what you do with that information is, is up to you. Uh, thanks for tuning in. If you like it, hit subscribe. Uh, I try and do one of these every week. Uh, thanks a lot and I'll see you here in a few. You all set? Yep. All right. Is this your first time shooting a 44 Magnum? Uh, yep. All right. And the first time. You went lying.
You're almost in the bullseye on that lower one. That's what I was shooting for. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, good job. <laughs> Nice shot. Just like that. Oh. Nice. We're going to shoot a double action. You ready for this one? Yep. All right, 44 Magnum Red Hawk. I'm going to shoot double action first. Uh, All right. Dead center. I think that should be it. So. Oh, yeah. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, so Jason and I, we just got done shooting the two revolvers. We shot a 44 Magnum Blackhawk uh, single action revolver, and then we shot a 44 Magnum Red Hawk uh, double action revolver. Um, what do you think, dude? Uh, it was my first time. I've only ever shot two revolvers before, a 38 and a 357, and. Uh, definitely snappy definitely snapped a little bit more than i thought it was gonna snap for sure so so yeah i shot first after that first uh because this was my first time with the red hawk uh the black hawk i've shot once before and that was like a decade ago um i had forgotten how much kick the 44 magnums actually have uh dude we shot the the black hawk first the single action just be ready. 
um, have a nice tight grip. Don't anticipate the shot, just pull that trigger until it gives you that surprise break. Um, it, it kicks, it kicks. Um, but it, it did okay. I mean, both guns, they're both Rugers. They're both well-crafted. Um, the single action, how, how do you feel? How comfortable was it? Uh, the, the, the Blackhawk. The grip was a little on the skinny side. It was. So I agree with that. Yep. So on that single action revolver, the, the, the Blackhawk, it, uh, the grip was a little bit smaller than that double action. Uh, and that played a big part. It really wants to, to get loose on you. Mm -hmm. You, you gotta, you gotta have a tight grip. Um, what about the recoil? A bit overbearing, but because I haven't shot that caliber before. So like good point. now shooting it, like if I went and shot it a couple more times, I feel like it would be, I would feel like it had less recoil. If that makes sense. It does make sense like, because now you know what's going to happen. Yeah. And now you can work on your shot knowing what that feels like. That makes yeah. a lot of sense. Um, so for new shooters, if it is something you're, you're thinking about, you know, just, just be ready for that. Uh, going to the double action, a lot of revolvers, whether it's double action, uh, if it's double action, I tend to, to like shooting at single action more, but this one I found I did a lot better shooting at double action, uh, which means I, I just pull the trigger and let it do its job. Um, I was a lot more accurate with that one. Uh, the double action, the, the, the Red Hawk, it had uh, a little bit more weight to it, so I don't think the kick felt as bad. Uh, the weight of that revolver um, took it, it, it took some of that recoil out. Um, so I, I liked that one better. Uh, yeah, what do you think? I feel like the, the recoil felt less, but I think it had a lot to do with the fatter grip. Good point. For me. Yep. Yep. So the, uh, the Red Hawk definitely had a little bit thicker grip on it. Um, so yeah, that made it a little more comfortable. It's the same, same length barrel. Do they weigh the same? Do you know? No, no, nope. both seven and a half inch barrel barrels, but, uh, the, the Red Hawk weighs a little bit more than the Black Hawk. Okay. Uh, there's a little bit more meat to it. Both revolvers we were using, um, the factory grips. You can get aftermarket grips for those like Hogue grips. Um, and there's other ones out there. Um, and if you're planning on going hunting with them and, and relying on your accuracy to take down quickly, uh, and humanely, uh, your dinner, you're going to want to practice and practice with it. Are you going to want to practice with this one? Like for a gun that you want to shoot on a consistent base, like a nine, for instance, you got to take 250 rounds to the range and blow through those and have a great time. Your wrist doesn't hurt. It's not really snappy so like that's something that's like fun to go and shoot and you know for me at least that's my favorite caliber so it's just the the larger calibers are fun but mm -hmm. just like you said it's something you just got to get used to and then also yep. you just got to be prepared for what that caliber is going to do yep. you know because like i did even after seeing you shoot it first i didn't think it kicked that bad like well I seen that it kicked bad, but I didn't think that almost, it was as bad as it was. Almost every shot, man. Every yeah. shot. I'm watching you. I, and I, with me, I can feel it, dude. Every shot, man. It, it had and then that, for, by far, the most recoil I've ever had in a gun that I've shot. Yeah. So. And revolvers, they do make uh, 9 millimeter revolvers, so you can always find that. Uh, it's all about finding what's right for you. Uh, the, the single action, the Blackhawk, single action revolvers usually run cheaper than double action. So depending on what you can afford, that's going to play a part in it. Um, but either one of them, I would highly recommend either one of them. Uh, they both did very well. If you're used to 44 Magnum revolvers, then you know what we're talking about. If you don't, be careful. Um, but that's all I got. You got anything else? All right. That's about it. It was fun. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, hit subscribe. I do a new um, review every week, uh, and I thank you. Uh, if you got any um, comments, leave them down below. Some of those comments are pretty helpful, uh, so I really appreciate you guys for doing that. Uh, but other than that, I will see you next week with another uh, pistol. Thanks, guys. You guys have a great week.